Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to mourn the loss of a little Buxus plant. Now, yes, it can be replaced, but there's a couple of things you need to do to get it right so in a generation, let's say a year's time, it looks exactly the same as its neighbours. For one, make sure you're replacing the dead plant with the same plant. That's why I like to go for the common varieties. This is Buxus japonica, Japanese box, and I know that I can readily get it at the nursery. If I planted that now, it'd get choked out. These would eventually grow across, but it would never look alike to the rest of the hedge. If I cut these back on a V and open it up to the sun, the little plant that I'm planting will be able to grow from the base out, get nice and wide, and next year you won't even know it's been replaced. As far as preparing the soil for the new plant, I'm going to dig my hole, but I'm going to try and do a bit of root pruning, which means I'm going to get rid of things like this, which might have been the root ball of the dead plant or even a root that's come from either of these plants. It just means there's a little bit less competition. Once I've made my hole, I'm going to add a bit of homemade compost. Mix that through again. Oh, look at the worms, you beauty. And as far as Buxus goes, this is what you want to look for if you're buying a small hedge. It's got heaps and heaps of branches. It's nice and thick. I could start clipping that up straight away and it would look good. Now, I know it obviously looks different straight away, but trust me, this is the best way to get this hedge looking perfect for another year. This guy will grow, keep these guys pruned back, and in about six months' time, you can start letting these guys all mesh together. And before you know it, it'll look like the rest of the hedge. One last thing, just get some liquid fertiliser and a watering can, keep it nearby, and give it a splash every couple of days for the first week. <laughs>